Hey, I'm Andy, and we're back with Black Mesa. We're just going to continue right where we left off, and we're about to do the experiment after we spent uh, a lot of time exploring, like, the I'm whole new Black Mesa. A bit from standard analysis procedure today, Gordon. Yes, yes, but with good reason. This is a rare opportunity for us. This is the purest sample we've seen yet. And potentially the most unstable. Now, as long as we follow yep. standard insertion procedures, everything will be fine. I don't know how you can say that. Although I will admit that the possibility of a resonance cascade <laughs> scenario is extremely unlikely. I just don't feel... Gordon doesn't need to hear all this. He's a highly trained... I like how they upgraded the, the, the eye scans as well, so it doesn't look like a... It, it doesn't look like the way it yes. used to. It You're looks right. more realistic, Gordon, we have I guess. complete confidence in you. Well, go ahead. Let's let him in now. You have complete confidence in me, but not in the materials that I'm using to experiment with, so. Uh, the place where it all starts. I guess, I guess they have been doing this before, too. Uh, playing Half-Life 1, you saw, like, all the other people that teleported to Zen. Testing. Testing. <clears throat> Everything seems to be in order. All right, Gordon, your suit should keep you comfortable oh, wow. through all this. The you just eat them out at this moment. To you in a few moments. Now, if you would be so good as to climb up and start the rotors, that way we can bring the anti-mass spectrometer to 80% and hold it there until the carrier arrives. All right. You can actually see a live feed of the of that room too. Interesting. I, th I think it's an actual feed too, since they're moving, and you can see them move in the video as well as in the distance. Uh, this looks so different, but it looks the same. <laughs> I mean, all, all of this looks very different, but then very it still cool. has that familiarity. Well, it's not like completely different in terms of layout. It's just more detail. I do like that I can mount the ladders using a key. Since I feel like uh, in the old one, it'll be easy to overshoot or slide off it. Oh, you can even mount when you're jumping. And you can't really slide off, you're just railed onto the ladder, which is good because. There's a few times in, in the original where I just, uh, I would just not be able to... Standard insertion. Uh, I mean, Standard I, I was always system. able to slide off ladders, which might have given me fall damage, so... Alright, let's start this mess up. No, I can't pull it. <laughs> Oh, that's the same. <laughs> yep, this is not good. Should I try and hide in the corner here? Or get to the party? <laughs> I remember... Oh, jeez. I remember when we were teleported here, we were able to... Explore a little... Or maybe I was wrong. Maybe I just did like a... Maybe I like no-clipped my way into these... Into these, uh, areas. 
But I remember looking around. The Vortigaunts. Unforeseen consequences. Now you'd think that would like seriously injure me, not do like only 30 health and plus and my uh my hev suit was still perfectly undamaged. Overload. Yep. It's all a mess. Everything's a mess. The scientists aren't here. That's new. Usually, there was one that was. Oh, there's a bloody handprint. Like usually, there would be corpses right here. I think. I think this was like would also malfunction too, and would maybe crush you if it went too early. I probably should have gave the that person the med pack. Oh, I guess, uh... Ooh. Sure, you just wanted to. Uh, sure, you just want to press buttons now after all of this. Sure, pressing buttons will be so much better than what's happening now. Pick up. Oh, the debris. I shouldn't trust this elevator. Like something's creaking in. I don't. I don't know what. Is. I never thought I'd see a resonance cascade, let alone create one. By Schrodinger's cat, <laughs> he's alive. Gordon, thank God for that hazard suit. All the phones are out. I can't reach anyone in the facility. You need to get to the surface and let someone know that we're stranded down here. There's no telling what kind of danger is. My <laughs> ah. God. Fascinating. <laughs> Look at that. Is this the... Is this the same one that he kept for Half-Life 2? For God's sake, keep that suit on until you're in the clear. You hear me? I'm pretty sure this is the same one that uh, he kept in Half-Life 2, just de-beaked. That one didn't work. And that one's just stuck on... I guess that's, that's just a portal. Interesting anterior. I wonder where its stomach is. I remember there was like lasers in this room too. That I had to avoid in the, in the original. But I guess it's... Oh, no, nope, no, nope, that, that's still a thing. <laughs> Yep, that, that's still a thing. Ooh. Oh yeah, shift walks. No, it doesn't spin. I was, I was about to go very slowly there. Can I break the glass? I can break the glass. This feels so different. Even though it's it's, it's the same Half-Life, it just feels so different. Oh, the lasers. Oh, no. Touching the lasers is bad. Isn't this where I would get the crowbar? They might have changed it, maybe. Help me! Get me out of this elevator! Ah! 
Uh, if I open it, they're gonna fall. Why can't I use like this as a weapon? <laughs> like you think you could be able to use this as like a temporary weapon, Give, giving what's happening? But oh, this isn't good. Oh yeah, that's pretty far down. Can I even? So I can go all the way down. And that thing is just crushed. Like, there isn't even... I get that elevators have, like, a lower... Like, I'm not... I don't know, like, the mechanics of elevators, but I know that there's, like, a... At least, like, a... Bottom area, but it shouldn't be, like, that big, I think? I don't know. I'm not too... I don't know how... I have, a, I have like a basic understanding of how elevators work. It's just I don't know the specifics. Gordon, Gordon, man, Who are I'm you? glad to see you. What the hell are these things, man? Is that a secret Why entrance? Science team uniforms. <laughs> yeah, we might stand a better chance if we team up. Ew, it's pretty detailed. <laughs> oh. Let's see how you like this. Lock shot. Oh, there's another one. I pick up the flare? Oh, I can pick up a flare. Like that. I'll have you deal with that. So I can explore. More blue screens. Oh, there's nothing in here. Just wanted to see what what uh, if anything changed if well, when I was doing the experiment. So I have this flare. Jesus. This place is in bad shape. Really. Oh, I can put things on fire. I mean, that is what flares do, but I just... I just didn't, uh, think that would work. Alright, let's hold this. Too bad we can't, like, stock up on the flares. Alright. Ow. Oh, he got hurt too. <laughs> oh, this feels so different. Yeah, this, this feels so different. That's crazy. Anything else in here besides a flare? <coughs> oh, that hurt. There's a lot more flares here. <laughs> Guess we go this way? Oh, where's, where's the guard? There's the guard. Oh, never mind. Oh, one Mountain Dew light is gone. So that's like one of the few things in like the original Half-Life that I don't think it explicitly tells you is that the vending machines and I think the water fountains heal you for one health per use. So it, it's always a good source uh, of. Are we gonna go anytime soon? Like, it's a good source of health if you're not, if there's like no health packs around. So it's good that they kept that. Someone's okay. gonna... Grab what you gotta grab, but don't dawdle. Why can't I carry these flares? 
Like, it should let me carry the flares. There's nothing in here. Color pallets. Okay. See, my degree is knocked down. Do you have the toilet paper? <laughs> So it seems like he really didn't have any toilet paper, but the one I gave him is apparently gone. Alright, is there nothing else? It doesn't look like there's anything else. Can't open up these doors. This one's locked. Well, I think way is the other direction. But this feels so different. I don't know how you deal with it because I don't have a weapon. You, like that? you have also you also have a lot of ammo. Oh yeah, there was like a charging station. There's like a charging station in the bathroom, wasn't there? That I mentioned before that it would like it looked like it would charge both. Yeah, this one. I guess it doesn't charge both. I guess it's only first aid. The have suit. I Let guess it just charges it. through the have suit. All right. Anyways, that was a small detour onto the main area. I guess. Not that way. My bad. Friend. Oh, that hurt. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Guess we go through the vent. I was gonna say, do you not have any more ammo? Like, there's a lot of flares here, but I can't. I just wish I could uh, stockpile the flares in my inventory. You gotta get to the admin office upstairs. We can go this way. Oh, never mind. This is sector C. Anomalous materials. We have Thank you. Hey, this creaking sound is really unnerving. There is nothing over here except for a bottomless pit. Oh, yeah, that was like there probably was like a lot of safety violations while building this uh, facility. Just, just, just to name it, that like that that bridge, just to name a few. <laughs> Like that bridge, the uh, like the way I guess some of the elevators are made, I guess, but I'm not too sure. It's a mouse. Nope, I want the flare. Oh, there's a crowbar. Oh. <laughs> I guess we go through there. Yeah, I guess we go through there. I remember like jumping on stuff to get to a higher vent or something, but I guess, I mean, I, I guess it's not gonna be like 100% the same pathways and layouts as the original. Oh, I could just be remembering wrong. Can I get in? I guess I can't get in. Oh jeez. Probably could have saved you had I probably got a Barney's weapon. Or not Barney, but a, a the, the officer's weapon. Is there 
anything. No, no. I don't know if you're gonna make it. <laughs> I guess you didn't make it. I like how my flashlight doesn't have an energy bar, because I think uh, on the original one, everything was tied to your flashlight energy, and you didn't have a lot. So can I... I don't think you had a weapon. Or maybe it, maybe it was just like the flashlight that was... Uh, had an energy bar. But, yep. Apparently I have a, uh, security access to this area too. All right, where do I go? Is this ice? It seems like ice since I'm sliding. Interesting, I don't remember this area at all. All right, small detour. Crowbar swoosh. Ah, random pallets on the floor, stacked unsafely. That's not good. That's not good. Apparently, there's water. <laughs> All right. So like, like this is how I thought elevators worked. Like, there's at least on at most the height of one elevator cage below. Unlike that one elevator all the way back, then where the the two people fell. So I don't know. And there is a forklift, which I can't ride. Is there anything else? I won't die. Alright. Security clearance level 4. Can I open these? I can. Not like how the, the tarp just falls. Slowly. I don't like that hound eye noise. There's some barnacles. Oh. <laughs> I don't know if that was planned or not, or scripted or not, but uh, that he just fell off the ladder and the ladder just fell on his head. <laughs> that that was brutal. So I guess we're not going that way. We're going this way. With all the barnacles. I mean, we can just hitch a ride. And this way. Ow! I forgot barrels. Like, metal barrels hurt. <laughs> I'm just gonna do this. I mean, it, it, it didn't hit me for much, but it still hurts. <laughs> Now, like the, the smartest way would just be to use the barrels, but eh. Also, all the all these uh, barnacles seem to be pulling me up at a different rate. So, I don't like the hound eyes. Nope. <laughs> Look grosser in HD. <laughs> I mean, I could use some health. 
Is that the only thing in this room? It's the health. Hot water. I can still hit it with a crowbar. So I think this is where I go down to flood the... Is this the area where I go f down to flood the... Sewer type area? No, it's not. Okay. It's just a access path. I can go in here. The subtitles are great. Crowbar swoosh. Ow. Hot water feed valve. Now I have to hold it. Okay, so one is down. I need to activate the second one. Oh, thank God. Listen, I know where you can find some more weaponry. There's a security office not far from here. Take me with you, and I'll unlock the door. Okay. You're sure you don't mind if I come with you? Oh, you went by fast. So I need to bring them to... this door. I need to get rid of this zombie first. All right, let's bring you over. I'll gladly help in any way that I can, but I'll let you know I was always last pick in gym class. Why would you tell me that? I remember it being much harder uh, to escort the the scientist, or maybe it was just like a different door. Uh, safe haven. Not really. No. <laughs> well, at any rate. Over there's the weapons, spoke of. All these uh, officers conveniently don't have their weapons. Grenades. And a pistol. I've had right? my fill for excitement today. Uh, yeah, these don't have iron sights, so. Today, nah. I don't think the game will continue if I stayed. I think uh, I'll end this part here and continue. That last announcement? Yeah, I'm welcome to stay if I want, but I don't want to stay. 42 is the answer. But yeah, I'm going to continue on in the next part. We've got new weapons, we've explored a bit, we've escorted the scientist. I don't know if that officer that we left at the main desk, I guess, main desk area is going to be Does safe or not. Have but. a cell phone I could borrow? I don't know if this came out, I don't know if like the timeline makes it so that we have cell phones or like readily available cell phones. So I know there's like cell phones since like the 80s maybe. I, I don't, I don't really know, but anyways, this was Black Mesa. Hope you enjoyed it until next time. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.